Okay, so let's talk about enzyme inhibition. So there's two types of inhibition. One is re irreversible and the other is reversible. And there's three categories of reversible inhibition. Competitive, non-competitive, and uncompetitive. So irreversible inhibition is where the inhibitor permanently damages the, damages the enzyme or it involves permanent covalent modification of the enzyme. Uh, it can also be used to map the active site and it can also uh, affect KM or Vmax or both. So this makes sense, right? Because if it, if it bound to the active site, right, um, it would definitely affect KM because there, the enzyme's not, uh, the affinity for the substrate of the enzyme goes down because it bound to the active site, right? And that would therefore affect the Vmax because you basically put the enzyme out of commission. So therefore, it can't create as much product as it used to. It can't create any product, but uh, and you also reduce the t enzyme total. Okay, so moving on to competitive inhibition, it competes with the substrate, right? So the analogy I want to make is um, oh, and also so Vmax doesn't change and KM does change. And so how to explain this? So if you had two teams, right? You had blue cars and red cars, and they're fighting for a parking spot. Well. So the blue cars, right, um, are the substrate, um, and the red cars are the uh, inhibitor, right, the competitive inhibitor. So they're both fighting for this parking spot. Well, you want your team to win, right? So, um, uh, so but it's harder now because uh, there's other players, and so that's why the KM changes. The affinity, right, for bl blue spots has gone down because there's red cars fighting for this parking spot. So that's why the affinity changes, it actually decreases because it's not, uh, it's not, there's a likelihood that there's a red car coming in. The V max doesn't change actually though, because for example, if you had a thousand blue cars, even though there are red cars, uh, it wouldn't matter because the likelihood of a blue car coming in would win. And so, the Vmax ultimately does not change because you can increase the substrate concentration to overwhelm the competitive inhibition. Okay, so moving on. Um, this, uh, on the line weaver Burt plot, right, um, will be shown as this with 1 over V on the y-axis and 1 over S on the x-axis. So this is the no inhibitor present, and this is with the competitive inhibitor. Uh, notice how the uh, y-intercept stays the same, but the x-intercept changes, right? So this is the original, and then it shifts to the right, um, because this is the new KM. So why does this happen, right? As I explained, the Vmax doesn't change because you can overwhelm the competitive inhibitor uh, with a bunch of substrate and therefore um, basically overpower the inhibitor and then uh, reclaim dominance. Over here, uh, the KM changes because the affinity does go down because you made it harder. Because used to, for example, if there was if there was no inhibitor, then it, there'd be a hundred percent chance. But now there's a small chance that the inhibitor could come in, so the affinity will go down. Um, and KM, yeah, KM increases because the affinity decreases since it's harder for the substrate to bind since it's competing for the same active site. Okay, so moving on to the next type, it's called non-competitive inhibition, right? So that's where it binds at a site other than the active site. So uh, what happens? Well, basically the Vmax decreases since the enzyme will be inhibited, right? Um, CAM doesn't change though because the affinity of the substrate to the active site doesn't change. So let me just draw a quick picture, right? So you have your your enzyme and you have your active site and you also have your substrate well this is if this is the active site right well the non-competitive inhibitor actually like so let's draw something over here um, the non-competitive inhibitor will bind over here and so it actually doesn't affect the active site and doesn't affect the KM, which is between the enzyme and the substrate, because it, it doesn't compete with it, right? So the KM does not change. Um, so, but once it binds, then it will impact um, the ability of the enzyme to create product. 
And so that's why Vmax changes. It decreases, actually, because the enzyme can't create product anymore. And it doesn't matter if, uh, like, the enzyme or the substrate can still bind to the enzyme, but after the, the uh, inhibitor has bound, well, even if the substrate uh, binds after that, the product won't, uh, it won't be created. So that's why the Vmax um, actually decreases, right? Notice how it goes up, and it goes up because this is a reciprocal plot, right? It's one over V, one over S, and that's why it increases over here, but in reality, the Vmax decreases. Uh, it's just on the actual graph it increases because it's a reciprocal. And, right, it's the KM doesn't change because the affinity of the substrate to the active site doesn't change. So I hope that made sense. And so the final type is uncompetitive inhibition. It binds only to the ES complex, right? So the two, there's two things that change in this graph. One is that, so this is the no inhibitor and this is with the uncompetitive inhibition. Notice how on the graph it increases. So that means the Vmax actually decreases. And over here, the, it goes to the left, so that means KM actually increases. The affinity for the enzyme and substrate increases. So KM is lowered since the uh, uncompetitive inhibitor binds uh, and it doesn't release, so therefore the affinity increases, right? Remember that a lower KM means a higher affinity, and that makes sense because if you have the, if you have the enzyme, right, and you have the substrate bound, well, the uncompetitive inhibitor basically comes around and binds the entire thing, and that actually makes the KM lower, right? Because it increases infinity, because it makes, uh, it makes it so that these are really bound together, because this is basically hugging them in and um, increasing the affinity for these two. So the KM actually decreases and therefore affinity increases because it's binding it and doesn't release. However, Vmax is lower because once again you're basically putting it out of commission because it cannot make product. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.